Hey yo guys, it's Elon Extreme back at it with another video guys. How you guys doing today, this fine day? Today we're looking at the Espada Rap, None Like Joshua, Rustage, Game Boy Jones, and so much more. It's hosted by None Like Joshua, and you know how I feel about NLJ, man. He's the GOAT. Alright, he's got the Yaga Yaga power. You know what I feel about this man. And I can't believe he made this incredible thing. And dude, a little taste of the Eisen Rap part uh, on stream. I can't wait to see this dude, but this is going to be awesome. I mean, you have the group of Espada, these incredibly strong group of people, and I just cannot wait to see what they do with them. I'll break it down as it goes along, and I uh, hope you guys have brought your snacks because we're going to have a, quite a long dissection because I'm very passionate about this anime and also especially the Espada and Hari Bell, of course. You know, that really sexiness right there. But you know what I mean. Let's get into this, guys, in three, two, one. Yaga, yaga. Someone dared me to do that, so I'm doing it. I did not forget. Musicality. Musicality. All right, there you go. Make a little. Okay. the top of the hollow. Okay. All right. Hold on. Don't you follow? Hit you with that said or pronto. When lost notches, you will all know. I'm about to show you my soul. Okay. Wait a minute. Beat beat on a beaver and hit his ass with a zero. Cool. City squad deep in a bad mood. Only got one arm, but I'm still finna clap you. Okay. All right. Save your boy. You came back hollow five. Still straight. I like that. Blow heads off quick with the red beam. Make your girl break you back to life. Ooh, all right, all right, all right. Pretty damn good right there. Uh, who was that, by the way, real, real quick? Uh, that was Slick, I believe, right? I love the way they, by the way, they intro this. Like, this is so cool. They have, like, the intro counting in Spanish, and then they actually rhymed it. Like, that's so cool, and they all said it. Like, that's amazing. Uh, then you have the, um, you know, even though he has one hand, which he has for a long time until he gets it back, uh, he, you know, he still clapped Ichigo's butt with one hand. I mean, he, he's... Smack that man, all right? There was not even a competition, dude. Like, that was just done, set, and done, in stone, gone. All right? Set in bone, if you want to say for hollow. But damn, that was just like, or hiero, if you want to really get into it. But damn, dude. That's that's pretty good. I mean, you talked about the red beam. Uh, there was a lot more for Grim Jow, especially since he's a fan favorite, and there's a lot about him. Uh, I know they go more in the manga. I'm not talking about the manga. Just even the anime in general, there's more to go off of. But it's true. But and then he has the little line here. I did. I did. I missed here. The plot armor can't save you, boy. That's good. I mean, the plot armor in this arc was very non-existent for Ichigo. So I like that he did mention that. Uh, overall, Slick did a good job. I think he captured Grim Jow and his uh, outlasting personality. And there were a few things that he did uh, touch up on. But I think he could have went a little more. But that's about it. Continue, please. Okay. Oh my god, alright. Alright, alright, that's pretty good. He said he could take control of people. He said that he has 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 vision. He's got all the eyes, boys. Coming in there, uh, he takes control of people. He fought Byakuya. Uh, he has. Uh, he also has the fastest Sonido, Sonido in the series, so I do like he did uh, have a little bit of speed there. That was pretty cool by Game Boy Jones. And, you know, I like that he actually captured the characters. Not really too much to go off of for him because he was almost he was taken out by Byakuya but other than that I mean that was pretty good man I like that a lot and uh, is there anything else I'm missing from that bar I just want to make sure I didn't miss that you got the eyes in for Lord Aizen uh because oh, Lord Aizen uh you know looks over Waco Mundo so that was really good too uh continue that was good I like that very fun true that's true. All right, real quick. Uh, not like Joshua did a pretty good job there. Uh, that was, I believe, what's his face? The Norita Gilga. Uh, the whole point of him, he's almost like the Kampachi of the Espadas. Like, if you think about it, he has a lot of power. He has thick skin, like when Ichigo couldn't cut Kenpachi before. I like that a lot That was uh, that he mentioned that uh, out with the tongue. You know, I, I like that too because he does use that a lot. My blades are too giant to push. He has like, these big, huge blades that he uses. 
Sarah from my tongue erupts. That's where he actually uh, unleashes the Sarah. It was a hollow. Now I'm filling the void with bloodlust. You know, talk about hollows and having voids and being, you know, holes before they actually turn into hollow. Uh, that was a good little reference right there. Neliel, you'll be a millennial, you know, because Neliel is the eternal rival of my boy, Norita Gilga. Pretty good, man. I like that. And then he fought Kimpachi, so there you go. That was good. Okay. Schwabity, all right. Ooh. True. All right, so real quick, uh, he has a uh, bone to pick with. That was a pretty clever line. I'm not gonna lie. It was. I mean, it was. The, you know, that was pretty good. Uh, where he's talking about he has a bone to pick with uh, Sosuke Aizen, where he also, you know, is made out of bone. Uh, it's because you know he was the king of Waco Mundo, and then he, Aizen kind of just came in there. It was just like, hey, bitches, I'm here to stay, and then just. Pip smacks him out of there, you know, easily takes him out, right? Even before he gets the Hokio Kun and all this crazy stuff. Really cool. And then also mentioned that he can get rid of souls and kill people because his ability is decaying. He could decay anybody's soul and all that stuff. So yeah, overall, I mean, yeah, he's a very powerful character and he's actually the one I'm the most scared of because he is more like the Grim Reaper. So I think Trubbity did a good job capturing that. Very nice, actually. Randy Yasuke, all right. Oh. All right. Yeah, okay, here's the thing real quick about my boy Yami, all right? Nothing against Yami. Dread Yasuke did a good job because Dread Yasuke has a very like, intense flow. Like, he could do intense people, like, you know, all for one and stuff. So I was not surprised he's doing Yami. That's actually, a, you know, a given. I like the line where he says, oh, he'll squish them like bugs because Yami literally calls people's bugs uh, because he thinks everyone's insuperior to him. Uh, he's also the zero Espada, which makes no sense because he starts off as 10 and then becomes zero. And I'm just like, yeah, I mean, but that's kind of weird because then Kapachi and Byakuya just one shot him off screen. Yeah, I mean, like, it was just an off-screen, like, he was supposed to be this, like, final, like, out-of-the-ass thing, and then it's just, like, like, what what did he really do? He was just a loudmouth who didn't really do anything, and he's also the guy who introduced, like, some hollow techniques as well, so, I mean, he was okay character, Yami's kind of weird, but, and I think Dredyoski did a really, really good job, I just think Yami as a character is a weirdo, and, uh, he's not really, you know, he, he could have been so much more, but he's not. Continue now. With the amazing chorus. Espada's the top of the hollow. Sick of the Sieta. Don't say false at the bottom. Wake on Mundo, don't you follow? Yeah. With that said, oh, pronto. Win those noches, you will all know. I'm about to show you my soul. Team player, not a manipulator. Come and take a shot. I'll provide you. Savvy Hugo, there you go. I don't need no help. I got my team of three, and I'm backed up in my creed. I can boil all you free. Shock up in these waters, you ain't it. Just a fish. Disrespect in a quick, I take him down by a chick. Oh, you should have thought about my drip. I'm popping off of the list. Uh, all right, that was cool. That was cool as water, which how she flowed right there. That was a really good flow by Savvy Hugo. A very good way to represent uh, her in general. Like I think that was really, really well executed. Uh, she talked about how she could manipulate water. Uh, she fought against uh, Toshiro Hitsugaya. Uh, he is, by the way, a fan favorite, but also she is because, you know, nice figure. You know what I'm saying? She got some really nice, good things, right? I don't have a nice figure. I'm saying just in general. Like, she's got that got that figure right like she she she's nice all right but i will say uh she she fought against him so she's saying okay be frozen taken out by a girl he was making messing with him throughout the entire fight saying we uh, well a girl's about to take you out like you're some mega prodigy and i'm about to just take you out like this he uh, she does not tolerate also disrespect so that was also a good thing that savvy hugo kind of pointed out as well that was pretty cool and i think overall savvy hugo represented harry bell pretty well i actually like that a lot and uh, good job Continue to my boy. Ooh, okay. Ooh, all right. There you go. So he was fighting against uh, the ca uh, the other captain. He was uh, fighting against, I believe, what's his name? Can't think of his name right now. I, I, I blanked out right now. He is. Quite interesting because he's like a lone wolf and he's actually one of the only Espada to actually like grow up and be stronger on his own than getting like a power boost from Aizen. Like he was already like a ridiculously powerful hollow before he even met Aizen, uh, which is insane. You know, how the other guys get this big uh, power up. Uh, he's, you know, he shoots Saros out of guns and is able to rapid fire them, which is like one of the coolest abilities I've seen in the series. It's just like a little cool like thing. Very simple, but it's like, wow, this guy's strong if he could just massive fire Saros in your face. 
You know what I'm saying? So I like that a lot. Uh, I think that my boy uh, Connor Quest uh, actually did him some justice, and the stab and chest line was pretty good too. Is there anything else I'm missing there? I don't think so. I'll be heading back to bed. Like, he's lazy. He doesn't want to actually take out a lot of people, right? So that that's, like, his personality is to be lazy and not to, like... He's not lazy. He'll do anything for Aizen, but at the same time, he just does not like to bother with things. He's very nonchalant like the captain he was fighting. So I like that. Continue. Okay. Humans are wasted breath to dispense grass on my mind like a tumor. Oof. She goes close to death whilst I'm giving or a he may may lose the luna. What? Oh, wait, wait. Lose the de luna? Excuse me there, dude. That's awesome. Rustage actually did a... I did not expect that from Rustage. That's not his usual flow. Like, most of the time, he'll just, like, go crazy flow. And his flow is insane. Like, I love his flow. But, like, I, it's or mostly intense. But then he just went, like, full, like, emo kid on us. Like, we just got a glimpse at emo Rustage there. I think he captured Ukiora very well. Ukiora is also, by the way, a fan favorite, like Gim, uh, Grimjow. Uh, well, mostly the ladies, because apparently uh, ladies like emo kids. Emo, emo kind of muscular kids, kind of. You know, like, I don't know what it is, but they, they seem to like it. It's it's a big fan favorite, as I said. Uh, I like the way Okiara was introduced, and he's a guy who's trying to understand people's emotions, right? He's trying to understand what human emotions are, because at first he thinks they're trash, but then he learns through Orihime that it's not exactly that. He's oh, still curious to find out what will, like, break her, what will, you know, what are hearts, what are this, because they don't experience that. They don't know what that is. I think he was trying to get into his human self, because if you remember, Remember, hollows are based off human souls, so I think he was like trying to sympathize with something he used to be. I think he should have mentioned his uh, Sir Oscuras because that's like a big thing about him, and a couple other things. But other than that, like he did really good at capturing him as like an emo, a mega emo. You know what I'm saying? So I like that a lot. All right, and uh, yeah, that was that was a good job. Uh, honestly, continue. Who's that Skeddy? Okay, I've never heard of him. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Hold on, break your heart with your organ doll. There you go. Okay, so uh, Apollo Grants, uh, as his name is. Uh, I think it's Hazel Apollo Grants, if I, if I remember. I probably... I'm, pronouncing that so wrong right now uh but basically he his whole thing is that he's a doctor he's basically the researcher for the espada other than aizen himself who does a lot of experiments uh he's basically like the mayori of the uh characters which by the way the espadas are meant to be like almost like complete like basically parallels to the soul reapers but they're not exactly the soul reapers uh, except for this one right here this little i don't even know who like Aniniero is his name but like i He's, he's, he's fodder. Okay, but, um, you know, the Espada number nine, I believe he is, and I like how they're going and descending. Uh, I love the way that this is going down. Uh, Espada number eight, I think. Sorry. Uh, so, so he's more of a researcher. He's tactical, and I like the little line where he said, break up with the doll. That's his whole thing. Basically, controls people, and that's his big ability. He can reincarnate himself. Anything that uh, with physiology, he can do. It's really cool, but very disturbing at the same time. That's, you know, I like that he was able to do that. Never heard of Skeddy before, but I think he did a good job. as Sal Apollo Grants. Let's continue with Aniero, the most fodder Espada in the series. Don't even try to try with me and I'm never behind in this imposter I love the Ooh. lie impersonator and manipulator plus but in there yet it's thug the side do you remember me I trained you showed you everything nah I'm lying but you got excited thinking I was kind of hard to deny it damn you want to run the yeah. Okay. All right. I already heard a little bit of Dizzy Eight, um, like Eisen thing, which he's yeah part of the Spada. Uh, Aniero, I think that was actually one of the most well done in person characters I could have seen. Is the weakest Spada. He is fought, fodder, but I think that he did. Uh, Baker did a really really good job of getting the voice down and also talk about that he's a massive manipulator and that he um, used Rukia's emotions and became Kayan just to mess with her and that's what he does is that he messes with people's emotions and becomes things that he's not he's basically the leech of the espada if you really want to think about it which is like i know it sounds pathetic but that's because he is continue let's go with dizzy eight's verse i am not ready for this let's go i'm ready because i've heard it but let's go all right that rhyme dude Damn. All right, let's talk about his verse real, real quick over there. Uh, Eisen, man, like, he came through to, uh, to Z8 for uh, Nightlight Joshua, man. Like, that's awesome. 
All right, so uh, basically what he talked about there is that um, throughout his entire plan, he planned out everything. He's such a master planner that he planned out that um, every single which way to take out each Soul Reaper, even making an Espada to basically take out or a Ron car to take out Yamoto, like the most powerful Soul Reaper and uh, um, Bankai, like uh, not Bankai, his Shikai, and was like, you know what, <laughs> like you're, you're you're shit. I have something to deal with you, right? And he plans everything. Like he got this whole scenario. And he was just like basically manipulating the hell out of them. Like that's such that's so true. Like and he just lets them fight so he can experiment with the Hokio Kun's power. I love that so much, and I love that he actually captured that. I mean, that's what Aizen is. He's supposed to be the guy who plans ahead and becomes superior to everybody else. I think Dizzy 8 did capture that very well. His flow was very good, too. So let's let's hear the rest of this, and then I'll give you my final thoughts on this. This was so cool. As the top of the hollow, single says yet to watch on the web, rotate fast to the bottom. Ooh. Like rondo, don't you follow? Hit you with that said or pronto. Win lost noches, you will all know. I'm all about to show you my soul. What a hell of a ride is all I'm going to say about that. That was incredi incredibly done. Like, wow. Like, And he was talking about, by the way, the Gote 13 rap having 500,000 freaking views. I think this is going to get probably even more than that. Like, this is actually really, really good. Like, I love the Gote uh, rap. I will say that, um, that, like, I think this was way, like, better executed. Like, this was really good. You, each member of the people were able to capture the Espada pretty well. There were some, like, okay lines, of course, you know, like, because you, you can never have every line just hit everything. I mean, that's pretty hard to do, but I think everyone captured their character very well. I think the two I will mention is Aninero and Savvy Huga's um, Hari Bell. I think those two are actually did the best in terms of getting the characters. In terms of, like, bars and raps, I think that they all did extremely well, and I think for, like, each 30-second segment, I think they did a really good job uh, flushing out the character and even getting some of those fan favorites and getting people not to attack their ass because they might have gotten something wrong. So I like the references. That was very good. Please go check out Nunlike Joshua. He is so freaking good. I love all of his stuff and I love honestly, please go check out every artist on this too. They did an incredible freaking job on this. I, I really... Like, I think it was really well executed, very solid. I think this was really, really good, dude. Please, if you guys want to, uh, I'm going to be streaming, and I, I don't usually plug this too much, but please go check out my Twitch and my Twitter. It'll be in the link description below, and also YouTube and the video link will be in the link description below. Don't worry, guys. Of course I got you. Have a great day, guys. Stay safe out there. Have a great day, guys, and goodbye, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.